Static, boring, everybody yawning, waiting for the next web page all morning, waiting for ages. When information changes, you have to send the whole page again. Outrageous! Let's get it going, get it going rather quick with a little thing that's now called JavaScript. In 1995, a man named Brendan Ike was given 10 days and 10 nights to make a new language that was to be Java like and put it in the browser to make things nice. What you gonna call it, mocker? Not a chance, what else you gotta? What about LiveScript? No, I don't like it, but no, not yet, so gotta be better. Let's employ a sneaky ploy to make you feel the real McCoy. What Java on the front, simply as a PR stunt. I hope our four letter inclusion does not cause too much confusion. Wait, so is Java the same as JavaScript? Having been created in 10 days, yes, it has its quirks, but you know what? It works, and people go berserk for it. It's flexible, multi paradigm, which means you can do whatever the hell you like. It's tied in nicely to the browser, which allows you to manipulate the DOM so easy. Access all the things you need to code in JS, Lemon, Squeezy. And in OA, Google Drop V8, interpretation changes. Give rise to the fact that JavaScript is now a viable option for high performance. Applications for front and back. So, like JavaScript on the back end? A man called Ryan made Node.js, a runtime environment that executes guess what? Yes, JavaScript on the back end. Full stack JavaScript has happened. JavaScript apps are written more and more, giving rise to what we call Atwood's law. Anything that can be JavaScript will eventually be written in JavaScript. Anything that can be